And they're all using farms, and I don't want to pick any of them up, so... I'm in position, bud. Apparently I need to hold on to his shoulder each time. Oh, did I get him? It's looking like it. Oh, right through the eye. Don't worry, we're not... Oh, I was going to say, don't worry, we're not going to hurt you, but... I mean... Exactly, that's what I was thinking. She gets used as a, a shield and tries to avenge her. What's up with that? Hmm. Oh wow, there's more out here. Is that Castro we just killed? I don't think it was. But it might have been. I'm pretty sure it was, but I don't know. It sort of looked like him. I've got plenty of ammo. Wow. See, if I was on the harder difficulty there, I would definitely die. Oh, that's a teammate. Or an ally, whatever. Ah, that's fine. I'll just run in. I actually remember picking this game up. Like, going to the midnight launch and buying it. And by buying it, I mean I didn't actually buy it because but it was the first game, the first game ever actually, that I got special edition. I was going to say first Call of Duty, but the first game ever that I got the special edition of. Oh, that's a teammate again. And they only got three in. Because there used to be a blockbuster in the town I live in. Not anymore. Because obviously the blockbuster went out of business. I think. Or they went bankrupt and whatever. So yeah, we went to there to get it. And then we had three copies in. And more than three people pre-ordered the game. Like, pre-ordered the special edition. The hardened edition, whatever. So, I just got like a, a rental copy sort of deal. Until they got my copy in. I didn't have to pay for the rental copy. And it pretty much let me see, like, this is what the game's like, and I can play it if I want. Like, I can buy it if I want, I guess. So that was without having to pay to rent, I guess. And I was sort of like, eh, on the first day, I really liked it. On the second day, I still liked it. Third day, not so much. And then I pretty much stopped playing at that point. And then, I remember actually going to the shop, like they had Kino Der Cotton played, like they had it on the screen, and I think maybe like managers or someone got to play, like it was just the, or employees, maybe not managers. Can I jump up here? Yeah, I can, but, yeah, so, I'm not, oh, can't go up the ladder, of course, but, I don't know, Zombies was the first thing I saw of this game. And I really, like, the zombies just, it felt so good, like, it felt so different and just perfect. But, I didn't actually like Kino Der Totten when it first came out. I usually just played Der Rees or Der Rise, however you say it. I say Der Rise. But that, I think that's wrong. Um, that's the one I played because obviously Hardened Edition gave me the Season Pass. Yeah, was it Season Pass? Or did I have to buy the other copies? The other DLC? Anyway. It looked amazing. The zombies just looked perfect. I'm not sure where that story was going really. I just, it was something to talk about, I guess. Is there something here? Oh, okay. Went the wrong way there. Okay. I know how to sprint, but it just it isn't working perfectly. So I'll just run as slow as possible. That's fine. Don't wait any longer. Just start going and you can pick me up. I'm trying to hurry, buddy. Look how slow this running is. Ow, I just kicked the TV. Or kicked the table that the TV's on. Some M60 damage. Whilst we're trying to get away in the plane. And there's uh, definitely some damage. That guy dead. Didn't really look like he was. So I think that's pretty much the first level done. Obviously, as I was saying before, I don't actually remember if it is or not, but it's definitely looking like it could be. Uh, I can't shoot backwards. Oh, there is. I was going to say there's none more in front of me, but there is. Oh, wow. I mean, that, that car blowing up good. Definitely helps. So this is actually the first time I've played Xbox, or a story game on Xbox since, like, the start of this year. So, on, and on Xbox 360, it's been even longer. It's been since before the, the one came out. 
which was like two years ago nearly, when it, on my anniversary, or whatever you want to call it, channel birthday, used the ZPU to clear the runway. Okay. So yeah, on my, as I said, anniversary of the channel, I, oh okay, apparently we're not getting to leave. Yeah, uh, that'll be three days until the Xbox One's two years old, and, and I believe, oh, oh, I think we just got kidnapped. But I'm sure the, the PS4 came out on the 18th in America, we I don't know though. Enough. You killed the double, you think we didn't know your plan? We always know. Do we think oh, there's Drakovic. This is my gift to you, in honor of our new relationship. Just make sure that he suffers. He will know suffering beyond his darkest fears. I have plans for you, America. Oh, that's good. I feel like a tad bum. Oh, he did. Dragovich sure did. Uh huh. Dragovich sure did. I'm not sure what he sure did. Probably torture, but. So I don't think I can, well I can skip this part but I don't know if it's a cutscene. It doesn't look like it was, it just looks like it's a loading screen. They knew we were coming. Bastard Dragovich. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was behind everything. Where did Dragovich take you? To Russia. A labor camp. Oh, a hellhole called Vakuta. Vakuta. Oh my god. What did they do to you basically? <laughs> what didn't they do? <laughs> That's a good point. What they didn't they do? So, I guess we'll see what they've done here. I assume we're going to Varkuta. Why did he give you the Dragovich? Because Castro and Dragovich were working together. Yeah, you were a gift. Yeah. Right. Where did Dragovich take you? I mean, if they did just kill me, it would have solved everything, right? You had to fight. Just to survive. What happened in Varkuta, Mason? I was on my own. Oh, almost a year. Think, Mason. What did they do to you? Well, I'd imagine torture. I hope ever get now. Victor Reznov found the world. <gasps> Reznov from Black at uh, World at War. I remember Reznov. He was a good guy. You were right. Victor Reznov. Yep. Come on, Reznov, buddy. Yeah, I'm sure I do. Don't hit me with that pipe. Oh! And you're getting knocked out, mate. I did think you would get knocked out there. Apparently Reznov takes like a million hits with a pipe and he takes one hit from our own. Every journey begins with a single step. So that was a setup, maybe? Step one. Seems like that was a setup. No. We Sounds good to me. Use knife. I know how to knife, so that's fine. Okay. Um. I'll save these people. Oh, that was a teammate, I think. Oh well, he got stabbed. Or not a teammate, but a helper, I guess. Oh, that's my teammate as well. I was gonna help him. Come on, Sergio. Glad you're a friend. Oh, Sergey, not Sergio. Oh well. At least I think it's Sergey. Okay, I'm just taking it slow through here, just to see what's happening. Is this an elevator? Oh, it is. Well, let me on then. Hello, Reznov. With my life. Just have to trust me, buddy. We are all sold without an arm, betrayed, 
forgot. Abandoned. 